Dr. Petrosk van der Toel, you are very welcome to the Hills of Donegal. Now, tell me a little bit about your own work in Holland. Uh, I'm a general and oncolo oncological surgeon uh, with a special interest in, uh, in the treatment of uh, patients with breast cancer and colorectal uh, cancer and liver metastasis of colorectal cancer. And I'm also performing a lot of research in the field, uh, especially in image-guided surgery of breast cancer. And that's the reason I'm uh, invited here uh, to share our research and to share uh, the research of, the, of Ireland with us. And looking purely with your professional eye, is research key in the entire area of, of breast cancers and all cancers? Yes, I think it is because cancer cannot uh, always be cured yet. So we need further knowledge about the disease and about different ways to treat it, uh, to, to, get it to get it under control and to, to control it uh, and make it a, either a chronic disease or be able to cure all patients. Yeah. And the reason I asked that was because sometimes we, we hear people saying, they get tired of people saying, oh, research, 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 why aren't they spending money in the hospital? Why aren't they spending it on treatment and on the patient? So I wanted you to absolutely reinforce that message. Okay, yeah, thank yeah? you. Yeah, yeah. But, but in Holland, it's, uh, the, the, the government money is mostly spent and the insurance money is mostly spent on the hospitals and the care for the patients. And research money is coming from uh, third parties. So we don't use the healthcare money that much for research. Yeah. It's other money. And we, the healthcare money is really used to provide good healthcare. Yeah. I think it is more or less uh, like this here Similar. also. Similar, yes, yes. Yeah. It's, it's very much the allocation of funding is very much in favor of the physical, uh, the hospital, the clinic, the treatment. Yeah. I'm, I'm also curious, uh, in the short time that you've been here, have you been able to see a big difference between how you do things in Holland and how we do things here? Uh, in a way, yes, and in a way, no. The, the standard of practice is really quite the same. Uh, but what I did see is that uh, for that, that, that Dr. Uh, Michael Servo is really doing it by himself when I am doing it with four other colleagues for the same amount of patients. Oh. So that's really a big difference. But uh, the standard of care is really uh, quite the same. We did see that in our research also. And yeah. we're also in the same research fields. That's very uh, well. And that's very good to see that we are uh, doing uh, the same research and also getting the same results with the research. So it's proven by us, by also by, but also by them. And uh, so that's great to see that we are uh, 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 quite at the same level. And does, does that mean that Holland allocate greater funding um, for, the, for the physical side of it than we do in Ireland? I'm or maybe not we're not really just as good at using the funds? I'm not, I'm not really sure about that, but it's just something I noticed today that he is really uh, uh, providing care for a lot more patients all by himself than I am providing. Yes. And maybe it's, it's government money or maybe it's insurance, uh, something to do with insurance. I, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I don't know what the difference exactly is, yeah. but that's something I noticed. Yeah. Now, on an, an entirely different note, have you visited, have you been to Ireland before? No, I haven't. This it's is the, really first the first time. time. And will you spend a little time here? Not now. We did spend the afternoon around the coast, but uh, we did see its great surfing sites, great coast, so we will be back, and probably during summertime. Well, I have to invite you officially now to come back to Donegal, and in fact, the Wild Atlantic Way has now become a big marketing tool for us in Ireland that you can drive from Donegal right down to Cork along the Atlantic and it's quite stunning. Yeah? It is, it is. We saw a small part of it today. It's really, really beautiful. And going back to the medical side of your life, do you hold out great uh, hope that cancer will eventually be beaten? Have we made huge strides? Yes, I think so. And I think so that 
uh, I think also that surgery is not going to be big, that big a part of the tr cancer treatment in the future anymore uh, because medicine and lo other local therapies are going to replace uh, surgical therapies. Also, oh, major surgeries will become less and less? I think so. And alternative, uh, like for example? Medicine? or other local treatments like uh, 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 heating tumors or uh, using radiotherapy for tumors. I see. And so uh, that's it's less traumatizing to the patient. And if it's controlling the tumors in the same way uh, locally, it's preferable to use those techniques, mm. probably. Yeah. That's well, what I think. Well, we, 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 we hope for the day that, that, uh, that it will be almost eliminated or er, eradicated yes thank you very much for joining us have you ever been to an Irish wedding or an Irish party of course you haven't but even in Holland no. have you been to an Irish party no well I have. we are going to introduce you to a real Irish party tonight because the ball is also a big social event it's a, it's a good fun night and everybody has a thoroughly nice time okay so thank you for joining us thank you and for enjoy the us. rest of your time here in Donegal thank you very thank much you.